Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the Dell G5 5500 and a few things that I did to it to get a little bit, you know, more performance and manageable thermals because as you can clearly see, temperatures while gaming are atrocious. Keep in mind that I'm not responsible if you damage uh, your laptop or anything like that. Other than that, let's get to it. So to remove the power limits, we need to uninstall this set of drivers called Intel Dynamic Tuning. Basically, it lowers your TDP. I don't know in which circumstances, I couldn't figure out which ones, but here are a couple of examples. Yeah, you can see there 20 watts while running CPU-Z, so yeah, not good. So let's just go ahead and uninstall all of them. Just hit the, this little box here. Now, in the description, you're going to find this file. It's just a registry uh, tweak. It'll add the hardware IDs for all the drivers we just uninstalled. And this will basically prevent Windows from installing them again. Um, I think you'll probably have to do this again if you perform a major Windows update or something, but, you know, um, just keep this in mind. So just go ahead and uh, merge the file to your, to your registry. So as you can see, the entries are going to be added. There we go. Now just go ahead and restart the computer. Now back into Windows, you can see nothing was installed back. And the IDs match. So yeah, that basically means um, you can control your power limit and it's not going to be lowered automatically on the fly. So to control the fans, we're going to need this little app called Dell Fan Command by Aaron Kelly. So yeah, just go ahead and download it, um, extract it. I like dropping the contents into System32 so I can just run um, command prompt as administrator and just run the app. But if you don't want to do that, just uh, navigate into the app apps directory, run the app by typing in Dell Fan Command. EC disable, that's going to set the fans to 100%, and then EC enable is going to give control back to the computer. So basically you can see here the, uh, the normal um, turbo behavior. After 36 seconds, this CPU will drop down to its uh, 36 watts TDP. But then if we open uh, XTU and set the correct TDPs, we can see that uh, the CPU is going to turbo basically forever. Um, just keep an eye on the time on the bottom right there. So it's drawing like 72 watts. So now a quick Cinebench R20 run for a quick AVX load, drawing almost 90 watts. To test thermals, I'm running CPU-Z in heaven, so that I can hit the uh, the cooling system really hard. Fairly unrealistic, I know, but since we're trying to optimize the cooling, this is gonna do it. Yeah, the clocks and temperatures are awful. Let's just open this guy up, apply some liquid metal, and see what happens.
So yeah, the results are not so great, probably because the CPU has such a small die that when it was using just regular uh, thermal paste, it was not able to dump all that heat into the cooling system. But now with liquid metal, it's, it's able to dump everything. Basically, that's hurting the GPU, which is not even able to um, hit its boost clocks. Let's try something else. Let's try removing the dust filters and see if some more airflow uh, fixes the issue. Okay, so that's more like it. Uh, we have a, yeah, we have 4.2 gigahertz on the CPU and 1400 megahertz on the GPU. And it's a fairly unrealistic load, mind you. So, you know, pretty good. With that, let's just take a look at some games and see um, how the laptop performs. Engaging. Pod, analyze the enemy.
My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone, not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot.